What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people! Welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen. Here with a one-off purchase description box for my channel. One that I need to give you a little bit of the background story behind. <laughs> so, this is either going to be an epic win Or an epic fail. <laughs> I was scrolling through Instagram and I come across an advert for a box and I went to the advert and I bought that box straight away without even looking them up. I just thought this sounds amazing, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and I bought this box because this was the Nightmare Before Christmas special box. I think it's the 25th anniversary box and I was like this sounds great. And it's only after I bought the box that I thought I'm a small YouTuber who does unboxing videos. Why haven't I heard of his company? Especially if they're a UK company because I do a lot of UK subscription boxes. <laughs> and I thought I'll go to YouTube see some other unboxings. Not a single video could I find. I thought that's strange. Their website shows that they've been going for a while now. Let me do a bit of research into this company. Went to their Facebook, went to their web page, did some Google searches for it. Every single page and every single person that I found about this company said, this is a fraudulent company. Do not spend any money on this company because they will take your money and not send you anything. Oh my no, God. God! No, God, please, no! 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 And I was thinking to myself, no, what have I done? Why didn't I look it up before I purchased it? Why did I dive in blindly and buy this box? But then there's a few comments, only a few throughout these pages saying, I received my box, I enjoy it. I, I, I'm really happy with my box. And I was thinking, oh, somebody's received the box. Then there's a few more comments saying, I received my box, wasn't happy with it, it's very cheap, and I wasn't impressed. So, this is either going to be some rubbish or some amazing items. And it said it would be arriving before Christmas. Today is the 21st. It is Yule. Happy Yule, everybody. And it's arrived today. It, I bought this for a Christmas gift for my fiance. And I'm hoping it's an epic win. This boss, this boss, this box cost me £29.99 with free shipping. And it's Nightmare Before Christmas, so I thought, even if the items aren't that good, it's Nightmare Before Christmas, they've got to be good. I've never noticed the Nightmare Before Christmas item is not that good. I don't think so. I'm just optimistic, and I'm hoping that I am not become a victim of fraud, and that this is actually going to be a good box. It feels quite weighty on one side, which, in the box side, that means there's probably going to be a mug in there, or a glass of some sort. But, comment down below, before I unbox this, epic win or epic fail? <laughs> what do you reckon? Is it good or is it bad? XS Merch is the name of the company, but without boring you any further, let's get the Dragon Sword and crack this box open. Cycle later. So this is a very nondescript box. I don't know which size up and which size down. I'm assuming this size up. There's just two little bits of tape on each side of it. So once you open up this box, this is what it looks like inside. It's not here for Christmas. This doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's got some nice items in here. And official items. Okay. Epic win, I guess. Let's have a look and see if it's worth the value. So this first item I pulled out is a vinyl stickers, The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is from Pyramid. They do a lot of official stickers. Uh, yeah, so it's one big vinyl sticker and four little stickers. 
Yeah. A little, a little bit closer than one. Yeah. Nice. Some nice little vinyl stickers. Quite happy with that. The next item is this case. What is this case? It's like a little coffin. I quite like this. Oh, something in there as well, I think. So, let's just open up this leaflet. Case includes mini pencil, mini notepad, two shaped erasers and sharpener. Oh, so it's like a little pencil case, shaped like a little coffin. I really like this. Let's unzip this. Oh, wow. So, that's what it looks like inside. Notebook, pencils, uh, or pencil, single pencil. Notebook, pencil, two rubbers, and an eraser, and a sharpener. Look at these rubbers, though. Oh, they're pencil top rubbers, so you can, they open up. Let's see over there. And you can close them around your pencil. So these are pencil toppers. Oh, I really like those. Those are really nice. Let's put them in there. What way are we going to fit these in? Like that. Uh, so they fit in the pencil case nicely like that. That's, that's really nice. That's a nice little set. I don't know if some of you use that as a pencil case or if you just take the stuff out of the inside and use that as a little storage box for something else. That's a really nice box. I really like that. Let's get the big item out. This is a mug. The Nightmare Before Christmas official travel mug. Oh, look at this. So this is the weighty item. It is a travel mug. Faces a jack all over it. Sally, oh, it's a shame it's not Sally because I bought this for my fiance and she absolutely loves Sally. Uh, this is Disney uh, exclusive. Again, it is distributed under license by Pyramid, and I know Pyramid; they're a genuine company. This looks really legit. It feels nice and how weighty it does. Um, I'll go ahead and leave that in the packaging though. That's just one of these porcelain travel mugs with the rubber tops. I quite like them mugs. I don't like travelling with them because I want to break them, but I like having my coffee at home in them, especially when it's cold, because it keeps it warmer a lot longer. Uh, it looks like there is two more items in here then. So there's more of these pencils. So pencil and toppers, Nightmare Before Christmas. There you can see it, the toppers on top of the pencils. And then the last item is the T-shirt. This is not my size. Oh, it's not the last item. There's something else inside there. <laughs> Many faces of Jack. That's a nice t-shirt. I don't think this is the size that I ordered. Uh, I'm sure it's not the size I ordered. But it is a nice t-shirt. <laughs> well, that's one side. And then the last item then, because it fell out of the t-shirt. Oh. It's just a random sack. Just this little sack. I suppose you could put all the items into this little sack. Maybe that's what it's for. That's really bizarre. So it's just a little hessian sack that opens up. It's not Nightmare for Christmas themed or anything. It's just a standard little sack. Was there supposed to be a print or something on this? Or is this just all the items supposed to all be in this? Well, so there's not many items here. Let's have a quick recap just to remind us what we received in this box. Faces of Jack t-shirt. Nightmare for Christmas travel mug. The stationery set vinyl sticker set, pencil toppers and pencils, and a random little sack. That is all the items I received in that box. So there's not a lot of items in that box. The sack is just completely random. If it 
had some sort of like Nightmare for Christmas design on it, maybe, or a print, then I probably would have fit the theme. It would have made sense, but to send a random sack, I don't understand that. I don't think this is worth £30. I wouldn't say it at all. I mean, I know Nightmare for Christmas stock can be expensive because it is Nightmare for Christmas, it is Disney, and I don't think it's worth the money, this. Travel mugs, so these porcelain travel mugs, on average, you pick them up for about £10. It's Nightmare for Christmas, so you possibly could say it's £15. A stationery set? I mean, it's a very nice box, a very nice set, I would say, but for one pencil, one note, but two rubbers and a sharpener, I'd probably say what five pound maximum. But then it's a nice case, so let's let's say eight pound. Let's say let's go for the maximum prices here. Let's say that's fifteen pound. That's eight pound. So that's twenty three pounds worth. Stickers. There you go. For what three or four pound? So let's say let's say four pound. That's twenty four pound. Pencils. Toppers, I mean, they'd be a bit more expensive because they've got these big jack rubber toppers. So, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even know how to price up a pencil. I don't, I don't buy pencils anymore. £3, maybe? That's £28. I suppose, and then you've got the t shirt as well. I always class t shirts at about a tenner. I suppose the value is there. So, and this little sack, I'm not, I'm not even going to price it, <laughs> it's not Nightmare for Christmas, um, the, the value is there I'd say then yeah, so value, it doesn't look like the value's there, but that's the maximum prices I'm, I'm talking about here, I, I wouldn't really pay that amount for these items, I'm sure you'll get these items a lot cheaper elsewhere, so not really a great box, I didn't get scammed, which is what I was looking for to not be <laughs> not be a victim of fraud so the anxiety I have felt since I ordered this box is unbelievable but I'm glad I didn't get scammed it's a shame the t-shirt is the wrong size because I cannot use this as a gift and I am fairly certain that this company who I tried to contact to find out where the shipping was because it took almost a month and they still haven't got back to me I'm fairly certain I'm not going to be able to get hold of them to exchange this t-shirt so I have a t-shirt which is the wrong size but we'll see Hopefully it still fits. But this has been my unboxing from XS Merch, the Nightmare for Christmas 25th Anniversary Special Edition. I am probably not going to be purchasing anything from this company again. <laughs> I will wait for a few more months and see how this company grows and how they get on. <laughs> but if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, you want to see some more geeky unboxings or general geeky videos by me, Geeky Heathen, why not subscribe down below and whilst you're there, smash that bell icon to be notified each and every time I upload. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to leave me a thumbs down. But, until next time dudes, I'm Geeky Heathen. Take care.